Good morning. I am back. How are you? Feels so good to be back here. And um, let me get refreshed and we get back into it like I never left. See you. Hello my co-host, how are you doing? Welcome back to Tell Us's Reviews and Lifestyle. Today is storytelling. You are going to hear why I was off YouTube for some time and the story I'm going to tell here is a story that you wouldn't want to ignore. So please do not ignore this story and do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share this video. Before we get right into this review, give me a moment, let me take a deep breath in because this will be the fourth time I am pressing record and delete. So this deep breath is to help me to, you know, flow kind of because for some reason it is you know it is difficult to get the word out i am still um i have healed uh, but i am still healing okay so let me take a deep breath in okay you can do it together with me okay let's go hope this helps okay before we get to the story time i would like to give a shout out to fumi the Salvold because i attended her meet and greet event um before everything that happened happened it was far due loss as a matter of fact she is having another meet and greet on the 4th of august but this time it is at brooklyn new york it is a pack of activities in fact what we had in england is a joke compared to what she planned to do at new york brooklyn i am actually jealous because i wish i am going to be out there to enjoy all of those packages because it is never a dull moment in the midst of fumi the salivode this is one of its kind that a youtuber is organizing not only do i love the love that Fumi de Salivode shares with her followers, but also the impact that she put out there in the lives of women, especially women that seems to have no voice or women that seems to have nobody to listen to them. She also shared some goodie bag. And these, my friends, a uh, few of the things that are in that goodie bag. This is Juvia's Place Makeup. This is so nice. I've been using it um, since I got it. And then here is um, lipstick. We got lipstick. And then I'm going to show you how the lipstick looks like. So this is how the lipstick looks like. It's super unique and beautiful. Uh, Juvia's Place Lipstick. They have other products. If you go to her page, you're going to see them. And also Gerard Cosmetics is also there. So if you are around New York and you want to have fun with someone that knows how to have fun and around people that truly shares love and where you will learn a lot of things, detail will be found on her page. She didn't send me to do this. She didn't send me to do this. I am just giving a shout out because I have attended. I know it is so lovely and I know she's got even more wonderful packages for people at Brooklyn, New York. So if you are planning to go on there, get your ticket, go in baby and have fun with Fumi the Salu Zode. I don't have to tell you to subscribe. When you go there and listen and listen again, <laughs> you are gonna subscribe. Another shout out to Taslim Palayel's son, Haizi, who turned two years old last week. Unfortunately, I didn't make video last week, but it is never too late to say happy birthday to our baby boy that turned two years old. So let's sing a happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you, happy 
happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. I wish you many more years and grow in good health and wisdom. If you want me to give you a shout out on your birthday, go over to my website at www.tellmohotelsis.com if you will see where you can um, ask a request for a birthday shout out, okay? Also, let's get right into the story. Do not ignore this video. Some time ago, a colleague of mine came to work. He was his usual self, everybody worked together, normal. After work that day, he went home the next day we heard the news that he took his own life even people that were very close to him that he chatted with last when he came to work never even could tell that something was wrong with him yet this young man went home and took his own life i was part of the people that said but what will ever make someone so devastated that they take their own life. I even went as far as asking those people that are close to him, how come you people didn't understand that he was going through something to help him? And is there any way that per chance he discussed something? But they said no. It was beyond my understanding how somebody can just wake up one day after the previous day of gallivanting happily you know walking around hundreds of people that he can easily talk to but he walked past them shared smile shared hug hard handshake you know guys things but he still went home and took his own life it was beyond belief for me imagine that situation that can be eating an individual up so much more that they they are tired of sharing because i guess that's what it is they put up a, fa a facade and at the end the only option left is to take their own lives it was beyond comprehension i didn't get it i was thinking it was weakness i was thinking it is lack of hope I was thinking it is lack of strength until on the 4th of May, I realized that it is far beyond all these things that I was thinking it was. It is a much more powerful spirit that has the capability to whisper as a helping spirit to whisper as though it is a voice of hope to whisper as though it is the voice that will bring that solace that company that solution that will make everything perfect unfortunately it is not i still didn't believe it. i still couldn't believe that it is ever possible until on the 4th of may it was one of the wonderful days that um, we were supposed to have um, lunch at one restaurant at Notting Hill together. I mean, we, I and my girlfriends. Occasionally, when there is time, we book a place and have a dinner or lunch together. And this moment is always a moment I look forward to because, you know, the hustle and bustle in this London is not easy. The work-life balance is not work-life balancing. So whenever you have an opportunity to sit together with people you cherish, it is always a golden time to take, take it and go for it because this is something that doesn't come quite often given the busy schedule of everybody we were expecting uh, so much from this um restaurant which i'm not gonna mention their name we got disappointed because um the service was not really uh, well organized they served our food so late and um m my food was 
not bad but the portion was so small the food arrived in different times long time apart that, that we couldn't even eat together at the end of the day i was obviously not expecting them to ask for tip but as you know the <laughs> the London we are living today, they ask for tip. In fact, the last service of food, even though that was, that seems to be the best food, it seems like we were actually begging them to serve that food because everybody had already finished eating and my friend's food is not yet there. They had completely forgotten that she made order. She placed order. She nearly even said she doesn't want to eat. But anyways, we, she was hungry. This actually spoiled everything. We couldn't get beautiful pictures together of the food. Long story short, tips we didn't pay. But by the way, what do you guys think about these restaurants asking for tips in London all the time? Like they have made it kind of slightly made it mandatory that everybody has to pay tip in london when you eat what do you think about that because we are not in america obviously tips is tips in america because their pay pay of the people that works in the restaurant in america is very low is not like every other people's salary because people know that they receive a whole lot of tips so that tip is mandatory but in uk the people that work in the restaurant, majority of them receive basic salary like every other person. So I don't understand why they are making tips mandatory for us. Like, I don't get it. The food is times three, the price and the portions are very small. Is don't What do you think? I just really think they should kick against this in, in London because it's not fair. What do you think? Let me hear you at the comment section. Going forward with my story. After dining with my friends, had fun, we all went over to one of the, the, the one of our friends, the one that lived closest to that uh, venue. We went over to her house, and um, of course, I went on to eat more food because I was I wasn't full. We had fun; it was a good time, and then um, we kind of saw each other off. I hop on the train to get back home. I noticed that immediately I hop on the train and sat down. I felt this sudden tiredness like I have never eaten in 10 days or something like that. I was like very tired, very weak. Um, I just leaned my head and slept off because it was a long ride home. So I have ample of time to doze off and sleep. The next thing I heard was someone tapping me that we have got to the last stop because the train is not going further down to my own station. So when I opened my eyes, I saw everybody has gone off the train. I, I was like, wow. So I slept straight over one hour. Well, I said thank you to this guy Immediately, I stood up to walk. I felt this sudden dizziness. The guy also noticed it. He was like, are you okay? I said, yes, I am okay. I held myself. And I, it was like I was already on the floor and back. Like it was, it was just so sudden. But I held myself and stepped out to the train, wait, waited for my train to come. When my train arrived, I hopped on my train. I got back home. As I got back home, oh my God, I was absolutely knackered. Like I had, like I said, as though I went to farm, but it was unbelievable. I could, I, I just didn't understand. And I was the only one home. I managed to take my clothes off and went straight to bed because it was late. When I woke up the next morning, something unbelievable happened. I tried to find my voice. I couldn't. You know, there is this um, exhaustion. There is this exhaustion that took over that I have never felt like this before. I was so exhausted, so tired. I couldn't, I, I want to talk, but I couldn't, I couldn't talk. I, I couldn't even get off the bed. So I laid there. And all of a sudden, I started crying. I, I can't even tell why I was crying. I felt so... 
I don't know. I can't explain it. It was just that um that um exhaustion that I cannot explain, you know. And I had lots of things to do, but I felt that exhaustion that I cannot even get myself out of the bed to go do what I wanted to do and I couldn't explain it. I just started crying. And while this was going on, there's this voice that started ringing in my ear. The best thing to do is to just disappear. End it. Nobody knows what happened. Nobody can explain it. You're just alone. You know, this devilish thing saying this rubbish to my ear. I can't tell where it is coming from and I can't tell why this thing this thought or this whatever is coming i i just i was like what is going on why why am i having this thought i was trying to you know go to sleep block it off and go to sleep so that it will stop but i still i couldn't sleep i couldn't go to bed i couldn't do anything so one of one of my friends auntie called me when she rang me i picked up the call but just like i said i couldn't hear myself so she couldn't hear me i was talking but she couldn't hear me but she's straining to hear me talk i just managed to say that i will text you um later she called back the same thing was happening i think she kind of picked that something was wrong or she picked what was really wrong so she kept on calling after you know hours or something like that to check in to know if she can hear me but i think i let her i can't i couldn't remember if i texted her or if i if she managed to hear me i couldn't remember exactly what happened how i was able to communicate to her i i can't remember anymore but this it was really um a a struggle and um and i couldn't even get myself to tell her what was going on in my head but she had already picked it so she was not backing out she was not stopping she kept calling long story short i managed to get over this that day the next day it was the same so that was when the thought came to me you need to rebuke this so that was when i actually remembered to pray so i started rebuking this spirit i i don't know if it's spirit or whatever but i assumed it as spirit and i started to rebuke every spirit that is speaking negativity to my mind every spirit that is irresponsible for 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 people to take their own life every spirit that is engineering evil i started rebuking all the spirit you know what when i started rebuking these spirits that thing started dying down when it died off i couldn't hear it again remember i couldn't sleep i now prayed i said god please put me to bed i need to sleep i haven't slept for hours i need to sleep so after saying that prayer i put on a wonderful gospel gospel music by nathaniel bassi and um, when i started playing that music i dozed off then the next day my voice wasn't still back but i was able to at least um tell my friend's auntie what was going on she advised me what to do and then she kept on um keeping con you know she kept on uh being in the loop checking up making sure everything was okay i was so grateful that i had i have her because um even when even when at a point i said you know there's no point picking her calls because she couldn't hear me i couldn't talk you know the more i was straining myself to talk the more weak you know i was becoming i said there's no point of answering her call so i just stopped picking her calls but even though i stopped picking her calls she never stopped calling she continued calling and calling on call and calling until she could get hold of me at the end of the day i actually realized that that spirit making me to be so overwhelmed and not able to speak up giving up is actually the the thing that battles people into taking their own life guys i never realized this i was doubting that 
what on earth will ever make people take their own lives how can somebody be jovial or happy you know come out where there are hundreds of people laugh come on tiktok dance come on instagram dance and tomorrow you hear they take their own life guys i i, I realize this is not ordinary this is not ordinary this is how god have to open my eyes to see how these things happen. The only reason I think God opened my eyes to witness this is for me to share this to all of you. That if you are aware like me, people that think that people that go through this are weak, so that you can understand that this is beyond weakness. This is absolutely beyond weakness. This is a spirit working when they see a little bit of opportunity to take control. Guess what? While I was getting over this, praying over this, asking God to take his, take it, take it, take this away from me. When I opened my Bible, do you know where the Bible it directed me to? The story of Jesus when he when he had 40 days fast uh, at the mountain and during the 40 days fast he he was tempted three times by the devil including when he was asked when the devil asked him to jump off the top of the building that if he is the son of god that god will save him i never thought about it like that but the spirit led me to that passage of the bible and that was when the devil came to, th to tempt him. And what did he do? The power of word. He rebuked him. And what did I do when it happened to me? I rebuked the devil. Whomever said that God is not, I don't know what you are talking about. Because if I could rebuke this voice that was trying to push me to an edge for no reason, and it stops. Who else is going to tell me that there is no power in the word of God? Anyways, when I rebuked these negative voices, that was when I got into fasting. I started meditating. Of course, a lot of things had been happening in my life within those periods that to me, it was part of life. I was dealing with it. Little do I know that they were actually eating the inside of me. But physically in my head, I was thinking that I am in control. I can, you know, I am managing things. I am, I am in control of everything. Everything is okay. Just a matter of time. Everything will be resolved. I underrated the impact of which gave the devil opportunity to come and steal a soul. But by God's grace, I overcame. <sighs> While I was going through um, fasting, of course, I decided at that moment, apart from my friend's auntie, that I shared majority of the things with. And um, obviously, she seems not to be surprised about the how overwhelmed everything has gotten to be and the extent things has gotten to be simply because um, I we talk every day. So she basically knows all the ups and downs and all the challenges. Even though I was thinking that it's, it's normal, I am able to handle it, she already knew that it was overwhelming and too much for me. And she was still like in her on her own wondering, how i am actually coping with everything so when they when that breakdown hit she seemed not to be very surprised at the impact coupled with the fact that she uh, is a mental health nurse that helped to um that you know she was able to uh, help me quite a lot we talked about so many things you know you know in a in a way of her trying to uh, help and in a way for her trying to um, calm the whole circumstances down 
so while i was going through meditation period and through um healing to be able to um you know calm myself down from the traumas from the overwhelming from the um depressions and all that a week later my friends got to um realize um started calling me anyway because i i had to reach out to them to tell them that i may not be able to attend the next gathering that we had for so so reason i didn't actually say the reason because i didn't want to start repeating the whole trauma because uh, my spirit strongly told me that i should not be repeating it because repeating it is giving it strength and power to keep on working it's over time so i refused to um, tell the story i refused to keep on repeating it because uh, if i start explaining to everybody that calls me that means i have to be repeating it and repeating it and repeating it and to me it means giving it more power so i didn't want to do that so i decided to um stay away from um that explanation until everything calms down and also to help myself heal i decided to um stop um creating videos on youtube i decided to stay away from social media this is to be able to help myself heal i i observe sometimes watching my favorite um youtuber but i do not contribute i just watch positive things just to help myself the things that will help me heal basically is basically also to help me not to um build resentment or start um building blame work or whatever on anybody i just wanted to find reason i just wanted to um know more about why these things are happening know more about other people that are going through this to the extent that it takes them to this extent of not even uh, blinking before taking their own lives of course now i have understood that so this is what happens so this is how it happens that they go as far as taking their own lives but what other circumstances surrounding life leads people into this that was also another question that i was asking i said god let me know show me tell me what people are going through you know concerning me things that i have that I have gone through that people have gone through that they couldn't manage that possibly can lead them to take their own lives or something else that i haven't gone through but it can possibly lead people to take their own lives that they may share with other people and people may not understand or they may not be able to share because they feel people will not understand and if truly you made me experience this to be a tool to um to make an impact in people's life to put you know to help save people from taking these extreme steps of you know taking their own life by just understanding what they are going through and helping them out of it or giving them re solutions on how to get out of it then then show me i want to know more so this was basically um my major prayer point and you know what in the next video i am going to show you the things that god revealed to me that you will not believe see you in the next episode don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel you know i love you one love see you in the next video